Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a little pedestal. Um, I saw this done by a fellow YouTuber. Her channel is called In With Jen and I just discovered her channel and she does some really great DIYs. So I gotta give her credit. I watched her make this and it looked so simple. So I had to run out to the craft store and get some supplies to make one myself. So I am going to link her channel down below and her video so that you can see how she made hers. Just give her credit because that is where I got the idea, but I thought I would make one. So I got a piece of wood, a little like wooden plaque for $1.99 at Ace and More. And then I had this um, Waverly paint already at home. I picked up this wax. Um, it was $7.99, but I had a 55% off coupon. And then I got, these were the light legs that I chose. I had a bunch of different ones, but I'm actually going to set them this way so that they have a little bit more shape. And just like that, you can't really see all of it when, when it's made. So they're going to actually sit like that. They do have screws in them, so I'm going to take those screws out. But these were 99 cents each. I have some wood glue, which the lid broke. That's why there's a baggie on it. Um, and then this little paintbrush. And then this little one is going to be for the wax. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is take the um, screws out of the middle of these because I'm not going to use them. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these legs onto the base of this with some wood glue. If you hear my dogs, I'm sorry, they're always making noise. <laughs> so this is how it's going to look. I think they're made to go this way, but I like them that way, so I think it gives it more shape. Okay, so now that the glue is on, I just took a stack of books and I'm going to stack them on the bottom just to hold it tight. And then I also have this really heavy battery that I'm going to set on top too. So that should get it nice, give it a nice tight fit. I'm going to let that dry before I do the next step. Okay, so it's been about one hour and they are dry. So I am now just going to paint everything white. Okay, so I put two coats of white paint on this and it is now dry. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this wax and, um, which I got to admit, I have watched people do it, but I have never used it myself. So um, it didn't look too difficult and I'm going to um, just lightly brush it on this to give it a coating. Um, it protects it and it also ages it a little bit, makes it look weathered and I love that look. So. That's what I'm going to do now.
Okay, so there is the finished product. I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, I guess if I had anything to do differently, I would probably use chalk paint instead of acrylic paint. I think the wax would, would uh, look better with it, so I'm going to definitely do that next time. Like I said, I've never used wax before, but you live and learn, so I think it's really cute though, and um, I just put it here in my kitchen. I'm sure I'll change it out, but for right now, I think it's really cute right there. So if you like this video, make sure to check out Jen's video. I'll link it below. Hers was really cute too. And uh, give it a thumbs up if you like DIY videos. And I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.